Back in the early 2000s during the Iraq War, photos and stories began to surface on the internet from soldiers stationed there of a horrifying and huge creature. This creature could run up to 25 miles per hour, make screaming noises, and was as big as a dinner plate and would chase people in order to eat their flesh with their venom dripping massive jaws. Straight out of a creature feature horror movie, the photos and stories horrified people in the West. But these stories couldn't be further from the truth. Here's the facts on these not-so-gigantic and not-so-horrifying little desert arachnids. Camel spiders are also known as sun spiders, wind scorpions, beard cutters, and my personal favorite, the Kalahari Ferrari. They're arachnids, but neither spiders nor scorpions, and belong to the order Solifugae. There are many species of Solifugid, and are native to deserts in many parts of the world, including the southwestern United States. They can deliver a painful bite, but don't possess venom. There are sprinters and good climbers running at speeds of up to 10 miles per hour and use only the strength of their massive jaw and powerful jaws to subdue and eat their prey. Their jaws make up about a third of their entire body length and are designed to cut and slice like two pairs of scissors. Prey items include insects and other invertebrates, as well as small lizards, small snakes, and even the occasional rodent. Camels and humans are not on their menu. The stories of camel spiders chasing people come from the habit of them trying to stay in the shadows to evade the hot sun. They're not chasing people or large animals to attack them, just trying to keep up with the moving shade in an attempt to keep cool. My cute little yellow fuzzball here is a Paragolodes species, also known as the Egyptian fuzzy solifugid. They're from Egypt, as their name indicates, and one of the more common species found in the hobby. Keepers are still learning the ins and outs of proper solifugid keeping. The lifespan and captivity are reported to vary from a few months to up to a year, so I'm learning as much as I can to make sure my little guy or girl, who I named Amun-Ra, gets the best care for the longest life.